just like Goblin. Ready to get in this match, Smashville. Gatorland Spring 2019, let's hear some noise. Game number one. Already, this is 10 seconds in, a lot of damage. and Ross is on ledge at 38%. But then again, Ross got his own combos too. But Roy's speed is nothing to joke around about. Yeah, it's, as good as, as Link has gotten in this game, he's still, a lot of his attacks are very slow. Oh yeah, big Compared time. to Roy, definitely And look at that, slower. double down tilt, and even though he attacks the last down tilt, that's a forward, that's a forward tilt. And Goblin's not going to let Ross any any time to set up, you know, traps or bombs or Yeah, or that's take the ball, a while. you got to be in your face. And see, even though Ross hit himself with that bomb, he still creates space right there. Reverse boomerang, trying to get that, ooh. Forward tilt almost killing at 120. That was actually just showing frame data there. They both did forward tilts. That's insane. Royce is faster. As we've just now seen. And then again, he's trying to create space, like you said, but Roy is so fast that he, he can't let you. This is one Ooh, thing, though, where Roy is going to struggle is, is recovering. Link's recovery is oh much, much gosh. better. Oh, my gosh. too far. No. Link, no. It's an you even trade. That it's an even trade, though. Yeah. Ross is, like, tactical. He was, I would say, he was losing that stock, so yeah. you know, an even trade like that is in his favor. And now, basically we're playing Smash 4 again. Two stock, are you kidding me? Smashville? What's the difference? Risky up beyond stage. Ross not capitalizing a whole lot on that. Great grab. Boomerang off stage, trying to fall, follow his DI. Yeah, it's just going to be such a struggle if Goblin is off stage like this, getting back. You see, he's taking so much percent. And Link has everything that can cover all his options. And when Link's recovering, he can use his bombs to get farther. You know, he's... Ooh, fantastic counter. I like seeing from Ross, he hit the boomerang into the bomb just so it came up and he was able to explode it to catch the tech chase. Look at this, covering every option. Bomb on ledge, perfectly covering roll with forward oh, tilt. And just like that, he's off stage. He doesn't need grab combos, he's got it. I love these bomb things, you know, the jump and detonate. Feels like that last one shouldn't have worked, but Robin did something. Oh, Ooh, almost getting that. The bomb's going to KO soon. Oh, big time. Or not B. But up B out of shield. Important to note that's, that's like a frame one option. It's the ridiculous. first time that he's used it, too. So yeah. Goblin wasn't expecting it. A little far here, though. That's going to be it. Ooh, amazing gimp. He's got to be careful with Roy. Roy, Roy has a trouble uh, countering off stage and gimping people. Wow, I can't believe that actually killed. Ross, there was not a lot Ross can do in that situation. Yeah. It's really more up to Goblin to see if he messes up. If he didn't, so he gets stuck. Ooh. Wake up, sure you? Like, what was that? Incredible. Dude, it has super armor on ground in it, so it covers, it beats out a lot of moves. I feel like Ross has been able to slow down Goblin, though, throughout this, yeah, the course of this match. I mean, as you saw immediately when we started playing. Oh my god. Oh no! My god. He's nasty. That's insane. If we've seen anything from this early time oh, in Ultimate, sick. it's it's kind of a habit of air dodging, neutral air dodge into the ground. Yeah. Because it's pretty safe. But it is. if your opponent's charging a smash attack, not so good. Get destroyed. And Goblin with a, a strong start in that match, but now a exactly. not, a, not so great finish. I think Ross, Ross definitely did it. a good job slowing him down, boxing him out, and saying, now nah, you're going to play my game. I'm going to keep you on ledge as long as I want. And I should see sometimes he would put him on ledge and then still run to the other side of stage because he was like, you know what? Although you are on ledge, I'm going to give you that space so you can go ahead and try to get back and let me set up. Yeah, he's just racking up so much percent off of the, the edge guard situations. Battlefield, I think this is definitely in uh, Link's favor because Roy doesn't have a lot of vertical move, movement to like challenge that. I think the platforms next to the ledge, though, will help give Goblin another option to get back on stage. Yeah, because if he has Bomb on ledge, he can jump up to that and still shield any aerial that Link might put out. Because that, I think, was the major problem in that first match was he just took so much percent when he was off stage. Yep. Fantastic upgrade so to back air. Anything that helps him get back on stage into where he is in the advantage as the faster character, right? Is yeah. something that you want from the stage. Let's see how he's going to capitalize off ledge. Nair, oh, he's doing these amazing wave bounce dancing edge dances or whatever. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I haven't seen that yet. But I don't know if they a do a lot, tool. No, but they're super cool. It, it places you in a, in a really good spot. So you're acting as if you are threatening the edge guard, right? But then you retreat safely. It's and you the idea in a where that he can do something, but yeah. he's not going to. And then as soon as you think, like oh, he's not doing something, but he's going, but I can make it back. He does something. 
Very strong start. Least expect it. From Goblin. Yeah. Another Only taking seventy percent. Hey, bro. Honestly, that move is slept on. Get up attack. Fair. And just like that, he's on ledge again. It's just a little surprising though, because it is punishable if you if you don't get hit by it. Right? You just need to shield yeah. to start, and then you can. It's free, right? Well, a lot of people are just like I don't know, man. It's like there's no way he's gonna up be on stage. It's like newer players. There's no way. And Ross now tying it up, only taking 75% oh, off that second stock. <laughs> it's well, KO percent. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, actually, yep, you're right. <laughs> I forget that he's playing Roy. Oh my gosh, beautiful dancing blade off on the uh, platform. Covering most, if not all, the options <laughs> Ross had there. Ooh, forward tilt. Ah. Oh. He had no options there, yep. honestly. He had to up beat. Once he misses the tether angle, that's that's it. Going for this reverse hit bear, uh, up airs because then he can get an immediate sweet spot back air off. Gets back on stage. That's so important. Ooh. Russ really needed that damage. Big time. Trying Any of these situations, up, it's, it's hard. Where Goblin gets back free like that is just huge. Yep. Great down tilt to fair. Setting him off ledge enough where he can. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> He's nasty. Not finishing the dancing blade. Ross jumping and catching him with the top part of the forward smash. He was so scared. He should have been so scared. You're not Insane. gonna you're not gonna die from the finishing of the, the no. double edge blade, right? But the sports match. You you have, will. Sometimes no. you have to take the damage. Sometimes you just exactly. have to accept exactly. it. Ross didn't accept it. He lost the stock, lost the game. It was insane, dude. But it's 1 1. Tied up. This is stressful, man. <laughs> they are going crazy right now. I think the stage really helped with Goblin that time. 100%. Right. It, I guess it did. Get, it gave him a lot of options to run away from Link's uh, bombs and everything, but yeah. I definitely thought Link was going to capitalize more on having that extra platform to set up more triggers and back up and give him more space. So, Stadium. PS2. You see, notice by the ledge, there's not a platform. Ooh. Allowing for those combos or something for. This is exactly what Ross wants. Jacksonville cheering loud for that boy Ross. Stage also a little wider, which is more yeah, space to is. set up for item traps. And although Roy is really fast, it's not always gonna beat out the distance that Link create with everything. Bomb sitting there on that platform, not doing anything. Ross. It up there. <laughs> Ooh, great catch. Great by Goblin, I... avoiding the boomerang coming back in. Ooh, fantastic read. Oh, see that, see that? That was perfect. It puts him in such a good spot on just in the stage with his double jump still that it's so scary. Ooh, that's really bad too though. Oh, air dodging through his own bomb. Bomb's doing a lot of work for us. Oh, grab. Bomb on ledge. Oh, short hop release Confirmed. into detonate. I'm not sure how much I like. Uh, so these few situations where Goblin gets the bomb, I don't think I like him throwing it back at Ross. I, I would rather I see don't him think so. I'd rather him up, get, right? get rid of it. Because then Ross has to go through the whole animation of actually pulling it out. And that's a long time. Yeah. That is something he could definitely punish. Oh, jab two to forward tilt. It is a dead even game. And it's not like snakes grenades, which are going to blow up anyway. It's, it's Exactly. It's going to stay there until Ross decides it's yeah. time and pulls it when you least expect it. Look at that. He's not letting Goblin get any space. He's like, you can sit on ledge. I'm going to throw this bomb, though. Oh. Almost getting a stage back. That would have been insane. Now Goblin's back in control. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly what happens when Ross runs away. Goblin gets all this kind of stage control. What was that? He wanted to scare him. Good reversal. Now the bomb is on the other stage. This is exactly what he wants, right? Ross oh, has to it, detonate and pull it out again. Oh! Miss the tech, you're gonna die. Nair to forward smash. Goblin's gotta make sure that that does not happen again. 
He's on his last stock, possibly last stock of the tournament. This is loser's top 16. Every hit counts. That might be a hit. Oh, fantastic again. counter off stage. He's going in right now. Last stock, one apiece. Last stock, last hit. First hit, really. First hit, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too excited, man. <laughs> Missing that attack again. He's got to watch out at higher percents. That's going to confirm. I think that bomb there is not what Ross wants now, though. They're doing a great job just, right just keeping it very neutral, only playing super safe options. Now, Goblin because just wants Goblin to keep has him over here. More safe options. Oh my gosh, is that down there connected? Fantastic grab. I think he buffered that bomb release. Ooh, fantastic shield to down to neutral air. How's he gonna capitalize? Ross on ledge again. Okay, side B. Side, side B actually will KO soon at the ledge. It's oh, so it will, scary. It will. It will. This is so close. Oh, weak forward smash, not gonna do it. It's a stressful, everyone in the whole venue. Off stage is scary. They're watching. No bomb pull from Ross. Nair on ledge, what's there gonna happen? What's gonna do, Dodges fantastic air <laughs> Reading that bomb detonation. Oh my gosh, anything would kill right now. Anything will kill. Ross has to play this so safe. But so does Goblin. Oh, he's back on ledge again. Ross doing a great job just keeping him on ledge. Jerry? Not letting him get up. Up air? Up air. Oh wow. my gosh. Right above the platform is going to kill. Such a close game three. Goblin somehow finds what he needs. Insane. He Ross. played that so safe, so patiently, while also getting in his face and making him feel pressured without Goblin having to commit too hard. And that was incredible. Finds and that's what you get at that top level of gameplay at these tournaments Absolutely. like this is that the best of the best come out of these players because the stakes are high.